everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make a crocheted wine bottle cozy. Uh, this is a crocheted project, great for beginners. Um, it's a um, doesn't take much yarn, so it's good for if anything you have in your stash. It doesn't take much time, so it's good if you need a last minute gift or something to do. Um, it is also um, it, it's good to take with you to a picnic or a party um, when it's a BYOB type of party so you can easily mark your bottle um, and also uh, it doesn't clink around in your bag you know it kind of protects your bottle and um, you know it's just a fun project so I put together a little tutorial and I hope you enjoy it This is just a sampling of the different types of yarn I've used to make wine bottle cozies. The first one on the left is this 100% cotton um, sugar and cream, lily sugar and cream. So I used a larger hook. I probably used an, I want to say an H or an I to do this one. Um, this is made with Heartland yarn and this one I um, probably used the same hook. It, this is a G, a G hook. So see how it's not really super big. And then this one is, I uh, just started um, for this video, is this Deborah Norval Everyday Yarn, and I'm using a G hook for this one. Also, just to note, besides the different yarns you can use, you can also obviously add beads like I did here, and you can also vary the number of rows that the base is made of. So like, because I added beads, I made a few more rows before I started the netting part. But for this one, and for this one, I didn't. So I pretty much just did the base and did a single chain. You know, these are all double chains, single chain row, and then I started the netting. That's exactly what I'm doing with this one as well. And I started the netting here. Just so you can see that there's a lot of variations, obviously, um, available to you, just depending on the yarn and the needle and the hook size. Um, and if you wanted to, I would just go with whatever the yarn says. Use the same hook that's on the label um, or just play around with it and just do what, what, what seems right to you. I have just completed um, five rounds, which is the, the base of our wine bottle cozy. And at this point, it really does kind of I flip it, flip it out, flip it outside so that the right side is on this side instead of on that side. So you can see, I mean, you can do whatever side you like, but this is the side I like. So there's one, two, three, four rounds that are the double chains. And then the last one I just did is the single chain. So now we're ready to start the actual netting part of the wine bottle cozy. Okay, so now I've just finished the first round, which acts as the the base to the netting. And I did this by um, chaining three, skipping two, and then a single chain. And I did this all the way around and they're in, it, I end up with 12 of these loops. Um, and also I just wanted to point out that where I joined around at the beginning, um, looks like there is an extra stitch right there. But that's okay. I'm just going to go with it. As long as I have 12 of these loops all the way around, we're going to be just fine. So 
um, just, just know that that's chaining three, skipping two, and a single chain all the way around until you have 12 of those loops. Okay, so now I just want to show you what it looks like after I've gone uh, around about three times um, to make this sort of net part of the cozy. Um, this will be the, for the, the body of the bottle up until the neck. So it's a simply chaining up three and then single chaining into the next space. So here's my chaining up three, so here's where I would single chain next. But if you look in the previous rows, you can see that's all it is. It's single chain uh, three and sing I'm sorry, chain three and single chain into each hole. Just keep going around and around and around, just until you get up to the base of the neck. Okay, now I just want to show you how many rows you go around until um, you get to the scalloped edges part. So just as you're making it, just kind of put it on a bottle to see. Um, for me, it was about, I think, 18 rounds altogether. Not that I counted as I was going, but that's how many I see right here. And you can see that it's right uh, at the base of the neck, not all the way to the neck. Um, this is because um, it will pull, and when you when you tie it, um, I like to see the that there's a lot of even spaces among you know within this part. And so if you have too many, you know it could it could shrink, it could sag a little bit and look like that. So I try to keep it as even as possible. So I stop right about here's where I'm going to stop. So now the next part of my um, pattern will be the little scalloped edges that you can see that I did on this one. Of course this has beads, but it's the same, it's the same process. Okay, I just wanted to show you the last part of the of the crochet bottle um, cozy, and that is um, the last row, which is are these scalloped the scallop top. So in each space around, you're you're going to do one of these scallops, and you're going to total. Uh, you should have twelve when you finish. So I'm just going to show you the last, I guess the last one or two, to um, demonstrate the um, the stitches that are involved. So the first thing is a half double crochet. So into that space you do a half double crochet. And then you're going to do two double crochets. And then you're going to do a triple crochet, which is, you know, looping two loops on the hook, going in, yarning over and then pulling through the first two, yarning over and pulling through the second two, yarning over and pulling through the last two, and that's a triple crochet. And then you're going to do two double crochets, one, two, and another half double crochet, and that's the last stitch in the scallop. Then you're just going to count and make sure you have 12. So let's see how many I have here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I have 11. So let's do one more. So into this hole right here, <clears throat> a half double crochet, a double crochet, Another double crochet, a triple crochet, a double crochet, a 
another double crochet and a half double crochet and that ends the scallop and now I have 12 so just to connect it I'm going to actually connect it right at the beginning um, right down here into this beginning um, of this first scallop so I'm just going to slip stitch it just like that and then I'll cut my yarn and pull it through and we'll be done with the wine bottle cozy cut. Okay, now we, we have chained on 80 chain stitches and we're going to just make this little cord to tie up the wine bottle cozy so just look at your um we're just going to do slip stitches all the way down so i just go right into that first that first um stitch right there and slip stitch and then just continue on into each one of those chains. So you just pick up one of those loops and slip stitch down. And just do this for all 80 or 79, however many um, chains there are um, down at the end. And you'll end up with a nice little cord that we'll use to tie it up.